Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you! Quit your lollygagging! Right. Get back to work! Yeah. You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. Good morning. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crone. Goddamn you. Murderer. Murderer! I did what I had to do, Mr. Morgan. Perhaps. So you think... You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot. Anyway... Lead to it. Okay. Hi, Reverend. Hello there. You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Say a prayer for all of us. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Yes, sounds good, Arthur. Listen to me, all of you. Listen. Don't get Dutch any more worked up than he already is. We're here. I don't know what you mean. Yes, well, we you do. Now, and that is the main okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Just go rest up, Morgan. Listen to me. You have got to keep faith. You've got to. Now, I know. I know. I miss Jose. I surely do. I miss every man and every woman who fell. I do. And I would die in their place gladly if I could. This world is unkind. But it won't break me. Not while I have you by my side. We... We get some money and we can still... They won't catch me. They won't catch me. And I promise, whosoever stands by my side 
They won't catch you neither. They won't. We're still a step ahead of them. Just about. Yes, and we must stick together. Now. More than ever before. Okay, Dutch. Why don't you sit here away from Micah? You okay? I guess. I didn't really know Molly so well. Thanks for your help. Well... Secure in this lovely spot. Well, try to keep your head straight. Mm-hmm. Good boy. <laughs> all we need is each uh, other. You all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um... I'll leave you to it. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. 
But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, well, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes there. Look, a rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Oh no, it's hopping away. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. To it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I'd barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Lord, no, we're done for now. Wolves, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my... My husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, oh, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there is nothing simple about any of this. Well, uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. So, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? 
Yeah, I've passed through a couple times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. Oh, right. <laughs> You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am.